Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I am, I'm really excited about this project. I've learned a lot already. This is, let me show you what, um, I'm doing a whole series of Aladdin. So each one has this signage and then the character up on top. Now, I only have the signage, and so I had to piece things together, and this is where I made some mistakes. <laughs> I, you know, with um, Design Space new feature with the offset, it made everything so easy. So in my mind, not, you know, in theory, it made sense like, okay, you get the outline, you merge the outlines, and then you have a whole big outline, except things like, you, that doesn't work because, for instance, this sign would have had its own black background, so I wouldn't see the red through it. That's one thing. Another thing that I learned was um, you got to save your image the way you pieced it together because, you know, I make everything big and then I slice it up. Um, I don't know what my original image looked like. So when I was trying to piece it together, it didn't work. So I'm going to share all my tips and tricks for all of that. Right now, we're going to put together Jafar and the little bird, his little parrot. And um, we'll talk We'll talk about, about the items some more. But I'm excited because this is going to allow us, once I perfect the design portion, because putting it together is putting it together, right? But once we perfect this, we can do any character with this sign, which I love because then you can put the name, you can put a message, you can do so much with it. All right, so um, we start off with the black background and I already flipped this over. What you wanna do is you wanna tape it together. So the reason why they're in pieces is because it was so big for our Cricut to cut, right? So we slice it up into pieces that we can cut with our Cricut then now we got to piece it back together. So I always do two pieces at one time so that I can lift one, push it against the other one, and then kind of keep it together as I tape it. And same thing with this. I'm just going to continue doing it. So these two are together. What you want to do though is you want to make sure that once you tape it together, you go back and you tape the edge because the edge, everything here, is gonna have um, a piece of cardstock on top, a colored piece of cardstock on top. So you're not gonna see this seam. Very, very rarely will you see something in the middle. But on the edge where there's nothing covering it, we do wanna um, tape it up just so that there's just no movement at all. Because if there's any movement when you go to take a picture, um, then what happens is it catches the light and then you see the seam. So that's the only thing is we're really working hard to minimize all our seams. All right, so these two pieces here. I had to go back and redo some of this stuff because, you know, <laughs> things in theory don't always work out until you, you know, you test it out and then you think, oh my gosh, I didn't think of that problem. I had a lot of problems on this. <laughs> but all things to share with you guys. So it's it's all worth it. All right, let's get this down and we're almost done. And this is gonna be easy to piece together once I show you what I did. So I had designed it, merged everything, took it all apart, and then didn't know where everything went. So normally, because you know I buy the whole file, I just go and I upload it and I know exactly where things go, right? I mean, that still makes it difficult when there's a lot of pieces, but imagine not even having the blueprint. <laughs> I um, was so frustrated on Thursday night. Um, I just stopped what I was doing and then finished something else and thought about it, and this is what I came up with. Okay, so we have this all taped. We're gonna flip it over and let's piece this together. So this is a beautiful, I mean, this is one of my favorites. This is this is a modified design because I added Aladdin, but if you've been following me, then you know that I've done the genie a few times. It's a beautiful sign. I absolutely love it. So please also, I, I know some of you guys, uh, 
when I talk to you guys, you guys don't have Instagram, you don't want to add a social media account, you can do Instagram, at least my Instagram, because I'm um, my profile is public, so you don't have to have an account, um, and it's just to view things. But I have like you know videos and things like that, like reels. They're they're called reels, and what, with reels, um, you get it like at a in like a speed up, sped up, fast version. <laughs> fast version of some of these things and so it just gives and it gives you more pictures so I you know I highly recommend you guys get Instagram um, but you don't have to be active on Instagram but it just gives you more access to things more like behind the scenes so that you can kind of see I feel like you can become a better crafter if you already follow me on YouTube you only get the stuff that I record that's long enough or that's a project that I'm ready to record and show you guys but there's so many things that I show also on Instagram. So anyway, that's my little piece. Because once you see what I did here, so I went back and you know, normally I don't have the character on, on its own piece, right? But because I had the shape, the outline, putting it down, then I'm just gonna put it down here like this, right? And then Jafar, same thing. So originally what happened was I didn't have the outline, right? I just had this, um, and I tried to put it together, and you know, it didn't make sense to me because some things overlapped, like this overlapped a little bit. So this is what that's gonna look like. I mean, look how, but how easy it is, right? Once you have, once you piece it together separately. So I love this thing. Um, what we're, I'm gonna use glue, I'm gonna put it down. I think what I'm gonna do with this though is I'm going to you know, lift it up a little bit and put some foam tape on here. The other thing um, I wanted to talk about is the back. So, uh, you know, before I never did anything to the back because I always, I, in my mind, I only thought that this would be propped up against the wall. Um, or a table so you don't you're not really seeing the behind but if you do see the behind if you know where your party setup is going to be and the back is going to show I came up with this look how pretty that is right it just looks so finished it's streamer uh, streamers so crepe paper and then you just and crepe paper is so easy um, to fold and work with that I just glued it together and then folded it over. And so you have this beautiful back that I'm just in love with. It is more time consuming, um, but I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so let's put this one together. I am going to use, so we're gonna put down the sign first. So with the sign, I think what I'm gonna do is, Let's put, I'm gonna use Barely Art glue. So I'm gonna flip the cap. Oh, I just, okay, yeah, I can do this. All right, so I'm gonna flip, because I didn't refill my other one. So I'm putting the cap on, closing this one up. <laughs> but um, the precision tip for this thin gold piece is what I'm, looking to do. So here's the precision precision tip. All you do is you replace it with your, this is your standard like overnight tip or cap. So I'm going to take that off, put my little one on and you'll see how easy it is to use. So I am going to lift this up because I know where it goes and I'm just going to do like a thin, whoop, hold on, there we go. I almost feel like I'm doing um, like a cake. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this side is down. Pretty easy, right? 
All right, then this side I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna continue doing let that dry for a second and then we'll continue doing the top part um, this we can put down right we know where it goes so I'm just gonna lift this up and I'm gonna put down a lot of glue And when I put it down, I just want to make sure, you know, press down, let the material bond pretty much is what, you know, we're trying to do. And then at the edges, because I didn't put the glue all the way to the edge, you can just stick double sided tape like the little glue dots and that will keep it down as well. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over a little bit. Let's do, so I felt like my tip got a little stuck towards the end. Let me poke it a little bit. Oh yeah, I had a piece right there. All right, here we go. Holding it down so it just can stick really well. This little piece up here is sticking up a little bit. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay. All right, then I'm gonna lift up this gold piece because there's still some areas where we didn't do it. Okay, so now I'm going to add, so he has an outline, so we know where to put him. I'm just gonna put a lot of foam tape so we can get him propped up. So let's do that. And you want to make sure when you're using foam tape that you get it in all the areas like the tail because that way it'll, um, it'll be balanced and you won't have the tail kind of lopsided or anything like that. So you want to make sure that um, your, your character is um, well supported. I think that is good. I know I'm pressing it down because I really want to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Um, can't decide. I, you know, I, I like the foam tape because it really gives me the, oh, but drives me insane peeling this off. I haven't quite figured out what's the best way to peel this off. drive me insane <laughs> so before if you remember I liked doing it with my glue gun and letting the the glue dry and that was my spacer and that's good for like small pieces um the only thing was I couldn't get it to be so even 
I don't know. So anyway, so I'm back to using this, but this is driving me crazy. <laughs> and then you got it. I mean, obviously you always have to clean up your art room. Otherwise, um, I can't work. I mean, I can work on an order and because of that order, it gets, you know, insane, but I can't work on my next order when the place is a hot mess from the previous one. So I do, I, my mind cannot function in that craziness. But what drives me crazy is, you know, these are like little tabbies and, um, they don't always get picked up and they get, they hide. <laughs> and I just hate, hate these little pieces. I wish there was a better way. Okay, here we go. That's all done. And so now I'm going to put this guy on and he's going to be a little propped up. Just want to make sure he's not going anywhere. Okay. So he's down, and now let's look at Jafar. Same thing with Jafar, we're just gonna put him down. Now, just cause he's much bigger, I think I'm gonna lay him flat. So let's put glue down and get him down. You just want to make sure you press down. You want the glue to bond to the bottom piece. And look how fast that was, right? I know I cheated because I had put these two together beforehand, but I needed to. It wasn't working. Like I couldn't figure out where things went. So I had to do it that way. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see the reels as I post them uh, where I, you know, speed up the video, but you can see me putting it together. I did use barely art glue the whole time. And then I'm going to take this out and put my regular cap on. And we'll clean that afterwards. All right, so um, what you want to do is, let's move this out. I'm going to show you the foam, and I'm going to show you parts of the streamer because now I'm adding so much to the process. It would be like a, this one would have been like a three-hour video. <laughs> Let me grab a foam board. Okay. So here is our foam board. The foam board is 20 by 30. So he's not going to all fit on here, right? Most of it's going to fit. Um, I want, oh no, wait, we can do this. What was I thinking? Okay. So we'll do this. He'll be completely supported. Um, trying to think this bird area is going to be difficult um, with the streamers but I will show you that let me grab my here's my pencil my white pencil so we're gonna do an outline so we know where to cut we're gonna cut inside of the white line so we're not going to be worried about the white line itself So the key, and I'm not going to go all the way around, I'm going to get this bird, but not everything. Um, I lost my train of thought, I apologize. What was I going to say? Okay, <laughs> I'm going to move him aside. All right, so oh, this is what I was gonna say. It, to cut this easily and to get a clean cut, you need a sharp blade. So I did switch to Excel blades. 
I love it a lot. It's super sharp. So here we go. Um, and I don't have an affiliate link or anything. I just, I, I do like their products. So you can, um, I follow them on Instagram if you want to go through it that way, but it's Excel Blades. All right. So we're going to cut inside the line. So I'm just going to start here and And you see how easy that was? And I, you know, I, it's hard for me to video at, in, at this angle because I can't see my white line because it's being covered by my hand. But you can see it's still a really smooth cut. So it's super important to have a sharp blade. And you saw like, this is far for me. And it um, still cuts really well because the blade is super sharp. So. You can see I'm not putting a ton of pressure or anything because that was kind of a far reach. All right. I don't like how that, I'm gonna cut that a little bit deeper. And you know, because I can cut a little bit deeper and I can cut inside because there's so much support for this character. The majority of it will have a foam backing. So don't worry about it not being supported. All right, I'm going to cut from this side just to get rid of this piece over here. Oops, too close to the line. the bottom is cut you can see I mean it's just a really nice nice smooth except for this little piece right here <laughs> gonna fix that okay um all right so now we just have this little parrot I can't decide how I want to do this okay Almost done, just this little piece right here. Which I decided to really modify. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is what it looks like. And then let me put this cap on because I so sharp I'm gonna cut myself one day. All right. And this is what it's going to look like on top. So you see, you can't see the back. Let me flip it over so you can see what that looks like from behind. So the bird is mostly supported, right? And then here's the tip. And then we're gonna cover this with streamers. So give me a second. Let me just look at this and see if we need to trim anything. I want to, let's see. I want to trim this area just a little bit. So give me a second. It's just sticking out a little. Okay. All right, you ready for the streamers? Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna flip this over. This is gonna be the side that has the streamers showing. So let me grab my streamers.
And so all you're doing is you're leaving excess on the side. And so I'm going to start at the bottom. So let's get scissors. Here we go. Now this bottom layer, I'm going to put really far, like I'm covering, I'm letting it hang over because the streamers are going to go tucked under, okay? So let's get our glue out and I guess I'll go back to using this tip. Okay. So all I do is... And then we're just going to keep lining it and it's going to look really, really nice. So I'm cutting a bunch and then I will glue it down. And streamer paper or crepe paper is so cheap. Um, I bought mine from the Dollar Tree. So, and it's such an easy material to work with. So I really like it. Um, it. I think it looks great. The only thing is it definitely adds to the process time, right? So if you're doing this, just give yourself time. But I, you know, like I said, I really like the way it looks. So right now you can see the glue marks a little bit, but it will dry and you won't notice it. But still because we're doing it in a pattern, like we're layering it, um, I will show you again what it looks like. It looks, to me, it looks fine. It looks, it looks nice. All right, so I'll stop it there and I'll show you how to do the sides and the bottom. Okay. All right, so let's flip this over. Hopefully you can, let me see how I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna start just right here. So I'm going to also put glue on the white foam part, okay? So I'm gonna do this whole section right here. All you're doing, oops, I didn't put enough glue down here. I'm taking the, the crepe paper and I'm just pushing it over. The glue is there to kind of get it and you'll see, see how it starts to take the shape. So, and we cut inside the line. So even if it shows a little bit, it's just a black border. So it's not distracting. So all you're doing is you're pushing it up like this and then on this side, you don't have to be too worried because this is where our character is going to sit on top of. So, and you can see like, because we pushed it in, it already took the shape of our outline. So I'll flip it over on this side so you can see what that looks like. So it's, you know, this is going to be folded in. I mean, look how nice that looks, right? I didn't do this part yet. I should. Okay, let's do, let's do the bottom edging. So this is the bottom that we're gonna tuck in, okay? So I'm gonna put more glue here. I'm gonna do one little section at a time. Now, just kind of like how we do with transfer tape, if you cut slits here, it's easier to push down, right? And to go around the edges. But this is our bottom, so I'm not too worried about how it looks because it's gonna be on the bottom. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip it over so you can kind of see how it's taking shape. Pretty, right? So it does take a little bit more time, but let's do the rest of this bottom so you can see that. And I will say this is my, I don't know how many I've done already this way but it's getting easier and faster so there's hope there this weekend was not looking good for me earlier <laughs> it is sunday though i'm like hurrying to get this done i gotta mail everything out tomorrow okay 
and it's such good content so I was like well I gotta record it <laughs> and show everyone how to do it so oh man hot mess okay so you see I'm just folding it tucking it over it takes a second for it to you know like dry so don't worry about it it's going to stick so you see I mean I'm going about it really quickly but look at how beautiful it's starting to look right this is what we've done this is going to be tucked in so you're not going to see all that flapping because our character is going to sit on top and then you see how it's kind of dry already so the glue marks that we were seeing earlier is gone all right so let's finish this side so i'm going to put more glue here oops Okay, so this whole bottom is done. We're gonna do it all the way to the top, then let me show you what you would do. Over here, you can either, you can trim some of this, or what I ended up doing was, I just took my hot glue gun because I'm gonna hot glue gun this on top, right? So I already have it going. Well, obviously I don't have it going yet, but when I get to that part, I will. Um, so I sort of just put a little bit of hot glue gun down, like the hot glue down, and then get all this crepe paper to stay in place. And then I just put my character on top and glue that whole thing down. That's all there is to it. All right, I hope you like this. Let me know what you think. I will talk to you on my next video. Bye.